Hey guys, my name's Caitlin and welcome back to my channel. Unlike last week, I actually planned today's video and we're doing something a little bit different. As you can tell by the title, we are doing an MM Romance book tag today. I don't know if this already exists um, or if there's something with similar questions. I probably should have done my research, but I didn't. So I have created my own book tag for the MM Romance genre and yeah. Let's get straight into it. So there are 10 questions all relating to or talking about MM Romance novels and then two bonus questions at the end that you don't have to answer but I kind of wanted to put them in there so I chucked them in at the end. Question one is what is the first MM Romance novel that you read? I kind of have two answers for this because I wasn't sure which way I wanted to go. So the very first book that I ever read that featured two male characters as the protagonists was Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. But if we're talking about more adult, because that is definitely YA, um, if we're talking about my first foray into the adult side of MM Romance, then we're talking about him by L. Kennedy and Serena Bowen. Question two, which book or series have you reread the most? This answer was fairly obvious for me, and that is the Elite Trilogy by Ella Frank and Brooke Blaine. This was one of the first MM romances that I read. I started reading it before book three came out, and I have reread it so many times because I'm obsessed. I love these boys so much. I've spoken about them a few times on my channel, so if you haven't read it, definitely pick it up. Question three, what is a book or series that you disliked that other people love? I kind of have two answers for this one as well because I answered both parts. I had a book and a series. So if we're just talking about the book, that's Boyfriend Material by Alexis Hall. I honestly DNF this book at 12% just because I could not get along with the writing style. It just really wasn't my thing. I didn't gel with the main character. I think his name was Luca or something like that. I just, I, I didn't like him. I couldn't do it. If we're talking about a series, then that would have to be the Straight Guy series by Alessandra Hazard. I read the first three, I think, gave them all like a one or two star rating just because I found them so problematic. I just couldn't get with the writing style in that one either. Nothing just really seemed to gel for me when I was reading those books. So we just kind of gave up. Question number four is a book that made you sob. For this one, I have to go with Remember Me When by Brooke Blaine. This is book two in the Unforgettable duet. This book, this whole duet really, but mainly this one, really broke me. I cried multiple times, but I still love it. I've still reread it. I don't think I cried the second time because I knew what was happening, but it still made me very emotional. <laughs> Question five is a book you didn't expect to like, but ended up loving. For this one, I had to go with Power Plays and Straight A's by Eden Finley and Saxon James. Considering how much I talk about this series on my channel, you would not think that I didn't think I was going to like this book. But by the time I got around to it, I had read so many jock nerd tropes that I was so sick of it and I was like you know what I really I don't want to I'm probably gonna hate it but hey what's one more and so I ended up reading it and loved it now it's kind of all I talk about <laughs> question six is a series that you will not be finishing for this one I had to go with the metahuman files by Haley Turner I did read book one and I think I gave it a three and a half or a four stars on goodreads but for some reason I just the the idea of reading the rest of that series really doesn't appeal to me. I don't know if it was, you know, like the secrets that were kept between characters in the first book or if it was the mention of a threesome happening later on down the line that I didn't really want to happen. My brain's just gone, yeah, we're not gonna finish this series. <laughs> Question seven is a trope that you don't really like to read about. I'm not sure if this counts as a trope, but I'm gonna have to go with the happily ever after equaling kids scenario. I feel like so many books could have ended absolutely perfectly. It would have been fine if you just finished off with that last chapter, but then there's the epilogue just to say that the main characters had kids. And it's like, cool. Did we need that though? <laughs> Question eight is a series that you have yet to finish. For this one, I went with the team series by Tal Bauer. I have read and loved and absolutely devoured the jock, but I've yet to pick up book two. I don't actually know what it's called. I probably should have looked that up before I started this. For some reason, I just haven't been able to pick it up. I don't know if it's because it won't live up to book two or because I'm afraid it'll be better because so many people have actually said that they preferred book two over book one. I don't know if there's just less sobbing happening in book two or if it's just the plot's better, I don't know. 
I should probably figure out. Question nine, is a trope you didn't think you'd like to read about? but you actually do. I kind of have two answers for this one. The first one would have to be monster human relationships. I saw a few of them when I first got into the genre and didn't think they'd be my thing. And then Lily Maine came along with her monstrous series and just completely changed like everyone's minds on the topic. And now I'm hooked. The second answer though, and probably a more common one would have to be age gaps. They're generally something that I stay away from. If they're written poorly, they can be rather bad. But if they're written well, then they can be like absolute perfection. All right, kind of the last question. Question number 10 is an author that you just can't seem to get into. I um denied about this for a while, but I think I'm gonna have to go with Alice Winters. I've tried to tackle a couple of her books. I finished them and I enjoyed them but I don't know if it's just her writing style or if it's the plots that I'm not gelling with, but everyone seems to be obsessed with her writing and I've yet to be captivated by it. I've read a few of them, I enjoyed them, but not enough to continue on with the series and not enough to really reach for them if they were on my TBR. Okay, those are all of the 10 standard questions. So now we've got the two bonus questions. I feel like this video is gonna be really short. Apologies. Okay, bonus question number one is a book that isn't raved about, but that you think more people should read. For this one, I had to go with Have Mercy by Christina Lee. I'm pretty sure I filmed a reading vlog when I was reading this book for the first time. It features cowboys. We've got an ex-military main character who falls in love with his cousin's ex-husband. So we've got a little bit of a forbidden relationships thing going on here, but it's also very friends to lovers and is a solid slow burn. Bonus question number two and the final question of this tag is what is your favorite mm romance i hate this question every time i get it i can never think of an answer but i had to give one i always say that i'm torn between the temptation series or the elite trilogy and apologies i don't have the actual paperbacks i only have the graphic novel i always say that i'm torn between these two and in a way i am because i absolutely adore logan and tate but i have to go with the Elite Trilogy because Panther and Solo, they just have my heart, man. I love every single thing about this trilogy. I can't fault anything. It's so quick. I, it just flies by, which is beautiful, but also depressing because I want to spend longer with these characters. I love them. Damn it, now I want to reread it. But that is the end of this tag and the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If anyone wants to do this tag, then please tag me in it so I can see your answers. Even if you're just answering it on like Instagram or something, tag me. I'll always leave it down in the description below. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and hit subscribe down below if you want to see similar content. Like I said in the beginning, my name is Caitlin and I will see you guys in another video next week. Bye.